Being from Pittsburgh, I know from bridges, and I know how quickly they can fall into disrepair. They've got to be tough to take all that abuse from cars and trucks and buses and the occasional train or boat or marathon or whatnot. But, and this is perhaps most important, they've got to be cheap. It seems counterintuitive, but you're not trying to make the bridge that's going to last the longest. You're trying to make the bridge that's just going to stay standing and keep you under budget so you can survive this election cycle. That's the naked truth. Bridge Project, then, serves to reinforce the reality of these engineering miracles through the power of janky, broken simulation video games. That's part of the fun of games like this. You've got a task to complete, and depending on your design, ability, and a little luck, it either works or fails catastrophically, which makes for fantastic television. Just ask the Mythbusters. Each stage in Bridge Project gives you a gap to span, a limited supply of building materials, and, well, that's really it. The rest of it is left up to you as you lay down a roadway, support it however you see fit, and then stress test it to make sure it actually works. And chances are, it probably won't. There's very little in-game explanation and the manual wouldn't work when I tried to access it, so I was left trying to figure out how open joints and pistons work for myself. Honestly, I was like a monkey with a hairdryer. But through trial, error, more error, more error, and a couple catastrophic failures, you might succeed in getting some cars from point A to point B. Then you'll take out a couple structural supports just to watch it all come tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. All right, it doesn't take a degree in engineering to see that the actual physics are rather suspect. The act of constructing the bridge is fairly straightforward, though, with everything run by pointing and clicking nodes and joints on the grid. When you actually begin the simulation, your creation is subject to settling, which can cause immediate strain on the supports and whatnot, before being crossed over by any number of cars, buses, trains, and whatnot, each with different weights and speeds. Sure, you can handle a handful of one-ton cars, but two three-ton buses might prove too much, to say nothing of a hundred-ton train. Yes, really. But this isn't some kind of training tool. You're not going to play a few hours of this, then roll right down to your local Department of Public Works and get anyone to listen to you. Nope, you're going to entertain yourself with meticulous graphics and an inoffensive, if extraordinarily bland, soundtrack, and watch <laughs> wreck because it's funny. I realize the current flail core trend in games like Quop and Surgeon Simulator might seem off-putting to most, but Bridge Project manages to... Um, wow, I can't believe I'm writing this. It manages to bridge the gap between those kinds of ironically difficult games and something that, you know, has some actual strategy to it, even if it's subject to rather chaotic physics. It's certainly divisive. Not accurate or straightforward enough for some, but for the rest of us, it's a challenging little bit of practical puzzle gaming that occasionally results in a massacre. I think that's the best kind.